So Joe Biden made an ass of himself posturing for a potential 2020 presidential run. Look at this video, and then I'll explain why you could add this to the never-ending list of Biden gaffes. Look, uh, I, I, I get in trouble. I read in the New York Times today that, I, uh, that one of my problems is if I ever run for president, uh, I like Republicans. Okay, well, bless me, Father, if I have sinned. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, but, you know, from where I, where I come from, I don't know how you get anything done. I don't know how you get anything done until we start talking to one another again. The point of this, of the matter is that at your level, where the rubber meets the road, I don't find a lot of distinction between the problems Republican governors, I mean, mayors face and Democratic mayors face. We have different philosophies, but we want to get things done. Okay, so uh, let me explain this to him since he's making a point of being glib and flippant on purpose. So, Joe, the problem is not that, you know, you work with Republicans or you're bipartisan or that you like Republicans. The problem is that you agree to work with them on their terms. See, nobody goes after Bernie Sanders or Ro Khanna when they work with Republicans. Why? Because they agree to work with Republicans where they don't compromise their own policy beliefs. So, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders used to work with Ron Paul all the time. Why? Because they agreed on, hey, let's stop the wars. They agreed on, hey, the drug war is stupid, and maybe we shouldn't be locking people up because they freely decide to put a substance in their body. So when you work with the other side on issues where you have actual points of agreement, nobody's mad at you. I, at Politicon, I was on a panel um, with Charlie Kirk, of all people. Now, Charlie and I probably disagree on 80% of issues. But the, the whole point of the panel was... How can we all get along? So one of the things I brought up was, okay, um, you guys say you like smaller government. I'm in favor of smaller government because I want to end the wars. I'm in favor of smaller government because I want to stop the NSA illegally, unconstitutionally spying on people. Uh, I, you know, I, I hate our alliance with Saudi Arabia. And those are issues where Charlie Kirk was like, yeah, I agree with you on those. Okay. Now, d afterwards, anybody say, Kyle Kalinske and Charlie Kirk. And Kirk. No, nobody did that. Why? Because him and I are having a point of agreement where... I'm not compromising what my actual beliefs are. Now, if I go out there and I say, oh, um, by the way, fuck the minimum wage. I, don't, I think people should work full time and not make enough money to survive. And Charlie's like, I agree. Well, then everybody would unleash the dogs of hell on me. Why? Because I'm fucking... I, I don't believe in that. I don't agree with that. And I think that's an odious belief. And I would be agreeing with him on his terms. So that's the problem, Joe. And what does Joe do? It's not like he gets fucking Mitch McConnell to agree. Hey, man. We should get more people health care. No, he doesn't. When, when Joe Biden agrees with Republicans, it's to do their bidding. It's, oh, hey, should we go easier on Wall Street? Fuck yeah, let's go easier on Wall Street. There's a video circulating on Twitter right now, and it's been for the past week, of Joe Biden's rebuttal to President George H.W. Bush, George H.W. Bush's speech on the drug war. George H.W. Bush was a big old drug warrior, and he was like, oh, yeah, we got to lock people up, and this is terrible, and it's a scourge to our country, and we need to lock more people up. And Joe Biden gave a response, attacking George H.W. Bush from the right and saying, no, 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 you're not a drug uh, war hawk enough. You need to be more hawkish. You need to lock more people up. You need to show less mercy. You need to punish people more. See, that's the problem, Joe. Joe uh, Biden was giving a speech um, about a year ago, and he was um, he was saying, oh, back in the day, we used to we used to work together. And hey, even there were segregationist Republicans that were still in power. And I worked with them. It was lovely. What? Why would you brag about that? He fucking campaigned for a Republican when a Democrat was running against him in a district recently. Like, it's not he's so glib about it. Like, oh, I guess you don't like that. I'm bipartisan. No, it's that. When you're agreeing with Republicans, you're agreeing with them on their terms to do their shitty ideas. And by the way, dipshit, you're about to maybe run in a Democratic primary. I, I, there was a great tweet the other day. I forget who did it, but they said something like, ah, yes, that old school winning message of I agree with the other guys. Are you trying to lose? Did you learn nothing from fucking Hillary Clinton's fiasco? She lost to the dumbest guy on the fucking planet, a reality star buffoon. Why did she lose to him? Because her whole fucking policy was, her whole uh, platform was, I'm going to be everything to everybody. I'm in the center. I like bipartisanship. I like Republicans. 
Donald Trump is uniquely bad. The other Republicans are good people. How'd that work out for you? It turns out when you spit in the base of... It, it, when you spit in the eye of your base, they tell you to fuck off and they don't like you and you don't turn them out. And you could fucking shame them all day long about that, but guess what? You're still going to lose elections. So how about for once, Democratic politicians do the smart thing and serve their base? <gasps> wow, yes, maybe then you'd win elections because left-wing ideas are more popular than right-wing ideas according to every poll. So I don't run on those ideas instead of, I like the other side. I agree with them. Don't you want to? I'm such an adult. Don't you want to vote for me? No, because guess what? Washington is fucking massively corrupt and hated. And your argument is going to be, I'm the quintessential Washington insider? Well, congratulations, you fucking dolt. You don't know anything about politics, even though you've been in politics your entire goddamn life. And that's the problem, Joe Biden. That's the problem. You're too deep inside that bubble and you can't fucking see straight. Joe Biden... If he runs in 2020, he's now made crystal clear. He's going to run in the lane of, who, me? I'm the serious, moderate, centrist candidate. That's who I am. You should vote for me. You will get obliterated, and it will be hilarious. I understand a lot of polls show you right now as one of the top guys. I get that. But you will plummet in the polls. By the way, all the evidence backs up what I'm saying. Why? He's run for president before every time he tanked in the polls. He ran at least two other times, maybe three. He tanked in the polls every time. When he starts talking, his poll numbers go down. Same thing happens with Hillary. Now, Bernie's the opposite. He starts talking, his poll numbers go up. Why? Because he's talking about real shit that people agree with and relate to. So, but Joe Biden, I'm telling you, he's actively choosing. If I run, I'm going to run as the centrist candidate. <laughs> Read the room, bitch. God damn it, you couldn't be more wrong in your interpretation of today's events. Oh my God, he has no idea about politics in today's day and age. He's so out of touch. So anyway... Go ahead, Joe. Make an ass of yourself. It'll be funny. We'll all be laughing at you. And what will be fascinating to see is, if he runs, he'll run as the centrist candidate. As soon as he realizes that he's plummeting in the polls, it'll be interesting to see if he does the 180. Because he very well might. He's a politician. So, oh, yeah, I agree. Working with Republicans is great. You know what I'm here for? I'm here to balance the budget. I'm, here to, I'm not here to tell people... Fairy tales about things we can get. I don't think we'll ever get single payer, but I'm the serious candidate who wants to expand access to health care. Like, if he runs on all this shitty centrist garbage, poll numbers will plummet, and then he'll have to make a decision, and knowing Joe Biden, he'll probably be like, oh, fuck, 180. No, me? Oh, I'm left to Bernie, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Me? I'm so far left, bro. I think we should make the United States a... Anarcho-syndicalist nation, bro. Democratize the workplace, bitch. <laughs> that's what that's what he'll do. He'll fucking flip. Oh, uh, politics is so gross, man. I don't know why we all are interested in it. <laughs>